Hi, I'm Bambi. I'm a D2 player and streamer on Twitch at Twitch TV. Kiss Kiss BC Bambi Kiss Kiss. Today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Desolution Sparrow race with no cheese. I use the always on time sparrow, but any 160 with fast summon that is stable will help you get through this. If you like this video and it's helped you, show it to your fire team to help yourself twice and please like and subscribe. So when you come out, you're going to start in bubble one. The path from one to two is pretty straightforward, but your biggest danger is going to be your fire team. And as soon as you leave, you're going to see frostbite on your screen showing on the left in the activity feed. The only part on this path that you really want to watch out for is this small triangle that you're going to see. And that's just going to help you to make sure that you get to the next level. Once you fly over here, you're going to land into bubble two. We're going to use these two boxes as our guides as we leave. We want to stick to the left of this rocky cliff here and watch out for the exploding balls that will slow you down. Once you hit this ramp, you're going to be looking for this small point here. Don't go too far left or you'll drop into the hole and going too far right, you'll end up stuck in that bubble that slows you down. Bubble three here is the first one that has any ads in it. You're just going to help your fire team. All of you will clear these ads. It's quite simple. None of them are very difficult. From bubble three to bubble four, your greatest problem is going to be getting lost in the snowstorm. There's not a lot of landmarks if you go out the wrong way, but we're going to use these two boxes here. And go between those to see a light. We want to keep that on our right hand side. Once we see the next light, we want to keep that on our left hand side. And then we're just looking for this uh, pillar that's right beside the bubble. The bubble will be on the right. Again, we're going to clear the ads in this bubble and then we'll move on to the more complex bubble. We're going from four to five. This is the most difficult and it's the one that gets the most people killed. So in bubble four, our reference point is this tower that shows on our left here. When we leave here, we want to keep this on our left. There's a small box on our right. We're going to look to our right here for a light, but we can't go straight at it because there's a great big hole in between us and that light. So we need to move a little further to the right, jump over onto this flat platform where the light is, and then we're just going to follow the cliff face around to bubble number five. We'll continue clearing the ads in this bubble. And then from bubble five to six, the path is super easy. So the only thing here is to make sure you stay a little left to avoid the big chasm on your right. Once you get past that chasm, you're going to head towards the light and then wiggle left and right until you see the butt crack in the rock. At that butt crack, you're just going to zip into the bubble. Again, this is another clearing the ads bubble. Once all your ads are clear, you're going to use this one box to orient yourself. Then you're going to zigzag through the rocks. There's a few different ways you can go here, but you definitely want to zigzag varying to the left as much as possible until you see these three lights together. Once you see those three lights, take the small gap that's on the left of them and you're going to zip off the cliff with a slight left turn into the bubble. This is the last bubble, bubble number seven. You're just going to clear all the ads here. Now from here, we can jump out to get the chest. You're going to be looking for this spiky, skinny antenna pole. Once you see that, you just keep that to your left, turn to your left and jump up the rocks, up and around, grab your chest and back into the bubble. No problems. Now sometimes your friends are going to get stuck in the bubbles behind you. You can just use the teleporters to zip back to the bubble that they're actually stuck at.
generally, this is going to be bubble number four. And from here, remember, we're just going to look at that tower base, zip to our right again, and off into the next bubble. I'm not going to go over this as in depth, but these are the most complex bubbles, and it's more likely that your friends will be stuck here. If there's any other videos you might like to see, please leave a comment below and I'll try and get to them. And thanks for watching!